the minister had a very intensive day of engagements uh, which included four multilateral and four bilateral engagements. The day began with the India CARICOM foreign ministers meeting. This is an important grouping for us. Uh, for one, uh, most of these countries have uh, populations of Indian origin. Our bilateral trade with the CARICOM countries is approximately $800 million. Uh, this was the second India Caribbean Community Ministerial meeting. The uh, delegation from the, from the CARICOM side was headed by the Honorable Alva Baptist, Minister of External Affairs, Trade and Civil Aviation of St. Lucia. And the meeting was attended by all CARICOM member countries. The meeting's discussions focused on further strengthening India-CARICOM bilateral relations through cooperation in capacity building programs, promotion of business and trade, enhancement of people-to-people -people contact, with particular emphasis on training of young diplomats of CARICOM, training in project management, information technology, agribusiness, health, disaster management, animal husbandry and dairying, the holding of business events and cultural festivals and facilitation of visas. Views were also exchanged on regional and multilateral issues such as climate change, sustainable development and financing for development. In this regard, both sides reaffirmed their commitment to the implementation of the recently adopted Addis Ababa Action Agenda and Agenda 2030 and expressed their expectations for a successful outcome of the 21st Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention, which as you know is taking place in Paris in December 2015. The ministers agreed that mutual consultations will be undertaken to strengthen, deepen and widen collaboration on agreed areas of cooperation. During the meeting, a large number of global issues were also discussed, including UN Security Council reform, the COP21 in Paris, and the threat of international terrorism. The ministers agreed to meet alternatively in India and the CELAC countries holding the pro tempore presidency to continue the dialogue to foster and strengthen relations. EM's next engagement was a bilateral meeting with Ms. Dunia Maimoun, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Maldives. Uh, it was a very good meeting. The two ministers discussed the forthcoming Joint Commission meeting for which EM would be traveling to Mali on October 10 and 11. There was also a discussion on the political situation in the Maldives.